Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm doing a giant haul of all this stuff in here. So I'm going to be hauling all this and also doing a first impressions and talking about who knows what. So if you missed this from Friday, I am wearing my Stars jersey. The Dallas Stars is an NHL team and they have gone to the playoffs. So I'm going to be wearing my jersey every single video until they win the Stanley Cup or if they lose, if they get out, then I'll go back to wearing regular shirts. So now into this. <laughs> so first I'm going to be doing my haul and I'm going to swatch everything that I show you. I'm going to start off with the ColourPop haul and I got a butt ton of stuff and I'm kind of embarrassed. Let me know if you want me to do look with all the ColourPop products. I got most of the spring launch. There were a few things that I saw and I didn't think I needed because I already have a very similar product to the items that I did not choose. So I'm going to start off with the eyeshadows that I got. I got the color Belladonna Lily. This is a gorgeous mint green. Love this for springtime. I think it'll be fun for summer too. And Belladonna Lily is a matte eyeshadow. Then I grabbed Flower Shop. This is a gorgeous green glittery shade. It's more of a blue green shift when you move your hand around or your eyelids I guess. Next I grabbed Luckfully and this is a very deep deep blue color and I don't know exactly why I grabbed it because I'm not really into wearing blues but I'm still gonna use it. And then I grabbed Waddles which in certain lights is more of a yellow sheen color but it has pink undertones so it's great for just the very soft wash of color or you can use it as a transition shade whatever you want to and then I got two brand new products I actually got a bunch of brand new products that I've never tried before but I got the super shock cheek this is a highlighter and this is in Huis, which is a golden highlight I'm really excited to try this out because I really struggle with highlighters especially powder highlighter because they really emphasize my texture I do have a little bit of texture here and along this cheek so hopefully this more cream highlighter will be a lot better. I can also use the highlighter as an eyeshadow so why not. Then I grabbed a blush and this blush is called Rain. It is a purple blush but I'm gonna try it. It is matte. The reason why I thought I would try this is that one time I went into Sephora for a makeover and the girl used a purple blush on me and it was really pretty. So I'm going to try this and hopefully it'll look just as pretty. Then I got three of the Ultra Satin Lip Colors. I got Botanical, which is an orangey color. Uh, I got Naked Ladies, which is a reddish pink, but it's more on the red end of the spectrum. And I received, oh, I got Spritz, which is a nude pink color. And then I got two lip colors. I am serious. I'm crazy. I don't know what I was thinking when I was purchasing all this stuff. I got the Sheer Lippy and this is in Croquet. I really like this color. It, it looks really strong. Like if you look at the packaging, you're like, oh my goodness, this is a really bright pink. But because it's sheer, it's more of a wash of pink. So I really like that. And it's not like bright baby pink. It's more of a deeper pink. And then I got the Cream Lippy Stick in Crumpet. And this is legit bright pink. I'm really scared to wear this actually. And then I got three pencils, eye pencils, which I'm really excited about. I got, this is Honey Dude. This is a nude eyeliner you can put in your waterline so that you look awake when you are not awake. And then I got this orange eyeliner. This is called Puppy. And this is a matte eyeliner and so is Honey Dude. And then I got get paid and I've been eyeing get paid for a long time. This is like a bronzy-ish eyeliner so I can actually give some first impressions already. The satin lip colors smell pretty bad. Like I think they were trying to get a vanilla in there. They smell a little bit like chemical. The regular lip colors I've never had a problem with. They always smell like vanilla. So that smells good. This is the lip cream and then the sheer lip color 
smells different but it smells really good it's just the lip satins that smell funny and when it says lip satin don't think satin as in sheen it is still matte when it gets on your lips but it feels more like a liquid lip gloss so it has a matte finish on your lips so just to let you know i went on a 10 hour trip the other day and i wore spritz the whole time for about the first hour it is the lip gloss matte kind of feel and then it dries down a lot and it was actually really painful so painful that it was making my lips feel uncomfortable and i didn't want to wear it anymore but as soon as i got to my destination i just ripped it off my lips the color lasted the whole time which was really amazing because I was drinking water, eating snacks, eating lunch, eating dinner. To me personally it was really uncomfortable. If I were you I would wear a lip balm underneath. Otherwise I would not recommend wearing this particular product. Now back to the video. And it is not transfer proof so the one thing that I was disappointed with are actually the ColourPop cream gel liners. The payoff is great. It's been really nice so far but the actual product, of course it's not going to do it now, is like a stick, obviously. See? Obviously don't do that. But when the product actually came to me in the mail, I opened up the cap. The sticks were already coming out. So that, to me, is kind of cheapish. I don't like that, but as long as I keep them right side up, I shouldn't have any problems. The product rattles around in the actual packaging, so that's kind of disappointing to me. I know they are inexpensive lip pencils, but I think they should be able to secure the product better in the actual packaging, and I think that'll come with time because I think the gel liners are a relatively new product. I know they are. Because they are relatively new, I think they're going to still be perfecting the packaging, and hopefully eventually Eventually it won't just come straight out like that. Now on to the Shanxo palette. So this is a BH Cosmetics and Shanxo collaboration. Shanxo is the very first YouTuber that I discovered. I didn't know when I was in college that there were people on YouTube doing makeup, anything really related to makeup. I just went on YouTube to watch funny videos or viral videos or listen to music or I was on Pinterest one day. I don't remember when it was and I was researching how to dye your hair and how to touch up roots and one of Shannon's that was really old videos like back in 2011-2012 she posted a video on how she did her hair and how she touched up her roots herself and I was really fascinated by that so I just kind of went on a rampage and found all of her old videos and were watching them and then I all of a sudden discovered that she actually had current videos and I was really intrigued by that so I think I binge watched who knows how many videos over the course of a couple of weeks and then I understood that you could subscribe I didn't understand what the subscription was or what it meant or anything so I had a lot of learning to do but anyways I have kept up with her since 2013 and I've been watching her videos ever since so I was really excited when she came out with a palette and I've been meaning to try something from BH Cosmetics for a really long time so this was the perfect starter this is a really cool palette because on this side are nine shadows and there's a mirror up there. The other side has nine lipsticks. So I'm really excited to do a look. I'm going to kind of do a first impression. I'm going to link all of her tutorials and her swatches because I don't think I need to do swatches or anything like that since she's already taken the time to do that kind of thing. I just want to do a first impression on my own. My lids are oily and so I just kind of want to test it out on myself. I think this is a perfect travel kit. You have nine lipsticks and nine eyeshadows. Lipsticks you can combine, you can create new looks. It's kind of an endless kind of palette in my opinion. Right away I'm going to tell you that there is a smell, like I'm almost 100% sure it's the adhesive it's really strong right now actually <clears throat> excuse me anytime that I open this and then close it it creates a little bit of air and I get that smell so if you're very sensitive to smells this is probably going to be a little bit of a struggle for you but hopefully it won't be too bad to where you can't get the palette I paid $14.50 for each palette these 
retail for $22 each. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and apply the makeup. So let's go ahead and get into this. First impressions, brush, everything else. Okay, so this is the look. I really like how this looks on my face, on my lips, and my eyes. So I'm going to go through my day. It is currently 4.30. I'll probably have this on until like 12.30 at night. 12.30 the next morning. What? Whatever. So I think I'll get at least 8 hours of wear out of this. So it should be fine. There won't be any problems with not being completely honest or anything like that. So yeah, I'm just going to go about my day. And I will talk to you guys in a few hours. Say hello to everyone, sunset. It is currently 8 p.m. and this is what my makeup is looking like. It's not as bad. The lipstick is obviously not long wearing, so it's already washed off after I've had my dinners. There's a little bit of lipstick left over, but it's mostly off. The eyeshadow is wearing perfectly fine. Everything's going great. No creasing or anything like that. So I'll be back in a couple of hours. Hey guys, it is now 12.03. I have been wearing the eyeshadows for about eight hours now. This is wearing really well on my lids. There's been no creasing, no fading, no nothing. It's just as vibrant as before. The lipstick is completely gone and that's just because of the lipstick consistency and I've even done a little bit of tearing up and there's just been no fading underneath my eyes either so I thought that this is a really great palette I think for the price you get a really great deal the nine shadows and nine lipsticks that can be combined and used for different looks I think this is amazing I will continue using the different lipsticks and continue using the different eyeshadows for different eye looks and if I have any problems like major problems I will definitely let you guys know on Instagram Facebook and Twitter I hope that you guys enjoyed this gigantically long video if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you've used any of the products that I've shown, let me know below down in the comments. I would love to know what your experience was. I hope that you guys have an awesome day and an awesome week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!